What is going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. We are making our game. We're wrapping up our first demo of this GB Studios dinosaur game. And last time we, we created a simple level. This time we're going to add some music. Now, GB Studio does have a music editor to it. It's something I've not played enough with right now. So that's, that's kind of next on my learning list. Uh, but I wanted to show you how you could add sounds and music and whatnot to this to this game. Uh, so on here, uh, I do have this Word document that I've kind of been using for my cheat sheet. And there's a Reddit forum uh, with GB Studio where you can download music and everything that people have given us permission to use. Uh, so if you just kind of search that Reddit on there, there's all sorts of them in there. I'm going to copy that link. Open up my browser here. Getting kind of a lot of windows opened up here. All right, and so this one here, it says uh, tracks one through three, free music tracks for your projects. Enjoy, reuse, and experiment. Uh, so if I click on this, it's going to download it to my downloads folder. And then we go to downloads it's here you can extract it i've already actually extracted mine uh, in here and then what i need to do is i need to find where it says assets and music and then we have these different files that are on here so there are these mod files and these xm files so what i'm going to do is i will select these mod files and then I will go and copy them and go to my music folder. This is in my uh, Prehistorio folder, our assets folder we created. And then we saved our game into that folder. So if I go in there, here's this folder. And then we have our assets here. And then we have music. And we can just paste those audio files in there which is pretty cool. All right, now, uh, when we go here into our level, uh, we have all of this information and everything, then we can go up here to music, and then it asks us uh, to enter our files in here. Now, these these files are mod files, and it says to use .uge, and it says, what about mod files? Uh, so if we click there, then it gives us this option that says enable mod format. So I'm going to click on that so it lets us. And then when we did that, you can see it then, because these are already in the folder, it enabled song A, song B, and song C. Okay, so now that we have that, we can go back to our game world. And we can go here to intro for Prehistorio. And on this one, we have on in it already, and we, right where we deactivate the player. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to click this little drop down menu and I'm going to insert event after. All right, and then I'm going to search in here for music and I'm going to select stop music. Um, and I actually might just move that right above deactivate player. Uh, so this will stop any music that was previously playing. So typically when I'm making a game or whatever, uh, at the end of an event that takes us away from a screen, I like to stop music there. And then I also like to start the next screen by stopping the music just in case anything crazy happens and, and it wouldn't stop for whatever reason. Uh, so I have stop music there. Okay, then I'm going to go here and I'm going to insert another event after. And I'm going to search for music and play music track. So when I click on this, uh, then we have these different songs. So if I click on song A, it's not bad. It's not too bad. Let's hear what song B is like. So I kind of like this song B for the opening intro. All right, so I have that selected right there. And then I'm going to go File and Save. Okay, then 
uh, when I get down here to the end of this, like after it says uh, press the button and we go to the other event, uh, what I'm going to do is maybe right before I could I could put it right in here actually. Uh, so once this is selected in here, then I can add an event and I'm going to stop music. And then I might actually just move that right up there. So right when I press start, the music stops and then it changes to level one. All right. Now, for whatever reason, when I try this out on here and I play this, it takes just a moment to get it started, sometimes on the first time. Like, you don't really hear the music here, but then when I press enter, you hear it just start to play real quickly. Um, I don't know why it does that on here, but then when I put it into my uh, analog pocket, like the music plays. So when I'm playing the game, like in a device or whatever, uh, then the sound works for me. But in the preview, it doesn't work for me on the first song. And again, I don't really know why. That's just kind of how it is. Uh, so uh, that looks good for the first one. We'll go down here to level one and we'll select on in it. And so in here we can add music stop. Okay, and then We'll bring that right up here to the very top. Can add another event after. We'll play music track. And then this one, I do like that song A. So I think that'll work good. Has a good beat to it. So we'll go file and save. And then we have that. Now that allows our uh character to go through and do everything. Now, uh, if we go down here to this event, to this little uh, trigger, we want to click on that. And before we switch over, we want to add event and stop music. And then I'll bring that stop music up here right before we deactivate the player. So that way it stops the music right away. And then we have this other trigger right over here. Stop music. Bring that up to the top. So we'll go file and save. And then down here, this takes us to our game over screen. So we'll select that one. And then we will click here and insert an event before. So stop music and we can insert an event after so it's right after stop music and we will play song or play music track and this one we will switch it up and try that three or C. All right, so we got a little variety of those different songs on there and then we can go file and save and then down here, as we're pressing enter, we can find stop music. So that looks pretty good. Uh, then the only other thing we need to do is with these uh, dinosaurs. And I probably should have just done it to one of the dinosaurs and then copied it, but we already have our dinosaurs created. It's no big deal. Uh, so we could say actor when colliding on the dinosaur on here. Uh, we could say before that dinosaur is deactivated, uh, we could just, we can add an event here. And there's play sound effect. And these are already included in the game. So we don't have to add those like we did with the songs or the other images. Uh, one of these crash we'll just use that for the sound all right so we'll click on this and we'll say um we'll just put it right up there 
and I think that's good. And it says wait till finished. Um, I'm going to say no, so that way it's still playing, and it's not going to affect the rest of the timing of everything else in there. But then also when we get down here to uh, our game over, we want to add an event, stop music down there. And again, I'll put that one on there right before we deactivate the player. I'm going to do that with these other two dinosaurs real quick. All right, and I think we're ready to give this a try. And again, it's not going to play the song on the first screen, but it will when we export it. All right, so here this is. right there. Let's try falling down the hole, make sure everything stops. So once we go in here the second time, it does actually play that song. All right, so I think everything works pretty good as far as the sound goes. And that's how you make a game in GB Studio. Uh, if you are finished, you know, you can play it in that emulator like I just showed you uh, throughout these tutorials. But the other thing you can do is you can go up here to Game and you can go to Export As. And you can either export for a ROM, you can export for the web, or if you have the old analog uh, pocket, you can export to that also. And all you have to do is go up here to game and export as pocket. And there it is. It puts it in this folder for us under build. And then all I need to do is then just copy this and then paste it into the appropriate folder uh, on my GB pocket. And that is the complete process from starting from the graphics to putting the game together, to adding some music, to exporting it to something to a playable device, and you have your first Game Boy game that you ever made. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if what tutorials you want me to make next, and I appreciate any feedback you can give, and I hope you all have a great day, and we'll catch you on our next video.